we are given potential in the region and we need to find the electric field and rather approximate shapes of the electric field lines so because the potential is given we can find the electric field by our standard result and partially differentiating potential so when we so minus dou e by dou x will give us the component of field in x direction minus dou v by dou y will give field in y direction and minus dou v by dou z will give field in z direction so we use this operator and find the values of field in both the cases now we need to plot this at in the xy plane how they look like so how we do this is we plot it at critical points first so these are the critical points and we are doing it at the same radius because you can see that root of x square plus y square which is r uh, which is r square so on any point on this circle the magnitude of field is going to be same because on this circle root of x square plus y square is constant which means the magnitude of field is also constant so on the circle we plot the critical points so for example here so here y is 0 and x is positive so when y is 0 and x is positive field is in negative direction so we plot it like this at this point x and y are both positive so if they're both positive so this becomes negative in i and positive in y so negative in i and positive in y Similarly, you can plot all these small, small fields at these points. So you can see that it's symmetrical about x axis and y axis. And field seems to be coming like this and going in this direction and going up. Here it's going like this, here it's going like this, here it's going like this. And also, you can see that as you move away from the origin, the value of the field is increasing because suppose x, uh, root of x square plus y square will increase as you go away from the origin. So the field lines will be closer together as you move away. And needless to say, if you put x and y is zero, the field at the center is zero. Now in second case, we have a term y I, my negative of my y i cap plus x j cap. So again, we'll take the radius because the Magnitude here is again the same. So you can see even in these two plots, the magnitude is going to be exactly same. Actually not same. This is the twice of this. So ideally these arrows should be twice the length of these arrows. But anyway, so it's just a symbolic. So at critical points, we'll find the electric field again. So let's see a few, let's see this one. So Y is positive and x is negative so y is positive and x is negative which means in x direction it's negative and y direction it's positive so x direction it's negative and y direction it's positive which gives field in this direction so we have taken this these points at the center so the angle which we get is 45 degrees so don't take <laughs> Don't start uh, trying to find the fields at these points. So it will be difficult for you. The direction will be difficult for you to get. But at these critical points at an angle, angle 45 degree minus 45 and at 0 and 90, these directions are easy to find out. So here the symmetric planes are this and this. And again, you can see the field lines seem to be like coming like this, then they become horizontal here and then they go up. Here they come like this, they become horizontal, vertical here and they go away like this. So here they come and become vertical again and go like this. Here, so if you plot, it will look like this. And similarly, the field lines will be closer together as you move away from the origin. And at the center, the field is going to be zero. So good problem to get an understanding of how we, how to visualize the field when the electric fields are given, how the lines will look like.